Understanding the phrase, skin someone's ass, a guide for English learners. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a rather colorful expression, skin someone's ass. This phrase might sound quite bizarre at first glance, especially to non-native speakers. Our goal is to unpack its meaning, usage, and nuances to help you understand it fully. Let's get started. At its core, skin someone's ass is a vivid idiomatic expression used in informal settings. It means to punish or reprimand someone very severely. The imagery here is hyperbolic and not to be taken literally. It's a way of expressing the seriousness of the punishment or the depth of the speaker's anger. Understanding the origins of idiomatic expressions can sometimes help with their meanings, but in this case, the phrase's roots are not clearly defined. It likely comes from the harshness of the imagery it evokes, fitting into a category of expressions that use strong visual language to convey intensity. When it comes to usage, it's important to note that, skin someone's ass, is considered quite vulgar and aggressive. It's typically used in highly informal contexts, among people who have a close relationship and are comfortable with such language. It's not appropriate for formal situations, in the workplace, or when speaking with people you're not very familiar with. To give you a better sense of how, skin someone's ass, is used, let's look at a few examples. 1. If my dad finds out I skipped school, he's going to skin my ass. 2. The coach said he'd skin our asses if we didn't start playing better. In these examples, the phrase is used to convey the speaker's anticipation of severe consequences for their actions. We hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and use of the expression, skin someone's ass. While it's a colorful part of the English language, remember its informality and the context in which it's appropriate to use it. Understanding such expressions is a great step towards fluency and feeling comfortable with the language's nuances. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.